Hey friends! So I figured I would go ahead and vlog today. It's gonna be kind of like what I do eat slash just life update kind of vlog I guess. Um, I know I was gonna share like kind of what I do and what I eat in a day because I know a few of you had wanted to see like what I was doing for my diet and working out and such. So figured I could share a little bit of that today. Um, so I'll just take y'all along and yeah, nothing really exciting happening. And of course, we always start the day with this cutie. You hungry? Come on. Come on. Let's go eat. Okay, so it is about 12.30. Um, I do like a version of intermittent fasting. So I normally eat between like the hours of 12 and 8 and try not to eat before or after. So I'm going to have some breakfast. Okay, so Ryan normally eats before me, um, but he makes breakfast. So he made egg this morning. So I'm going to do like a little sandwich. This bread is amazing. Um, I get this at Aldi's. It is the Lovin's or Love. Yeah, Lovin' Fresh <laughs> Zero Net Carb uh, Multi-Seed Bread. It is really, really good. Um, and it has no net carbs, which is awesome for keto. So I will do an egg sandwich, like I said. So I'm just going to go ahead and put two pieces of this in the toaster oven. Okay, so after breakfast, I will take vitamins and everything like normal. I've been taking the CLA 1250s. They're by NatureWise. I get mine on Amazon. Um, they have amazing reviews. Like, look them up. I'll link them down below for you guys. They are super amazing. <laughs> like, you, they definitely, like, flatten out, help flatten out your tummy. I haven't been doing, like, any abs or anything, but I do see a significant difference, like, in my stomach area. Um, again, I've been eating, you know, healthy and... Um, I've also been working out, like I do cardio, like 30 to 45 minutes a day, but this definitely helps. So highly recommend them. Um, you get like 180 soft gels. You take, I take two for with every meal. You could do up to three. Um, and I think it's like 25 or 30 bucks on Amazon. Just got my final Nordstrom anniversary sale package in the mail. Um, it is this Top Shop like leather blazer. I think leather is gonna be everywhere this fall, so. Um, I have no leather or pleather, whatever you want to call it. So this one was on sale during the Nordstrom sale and I was able to pick it up. Speaking of the Nordstrom anniversary sale, so <clears throat> I told you guys, you know, this year that I wasn't going to share it. If you follow me on my Instagram um, or my blog, you know that I talked about it, I think like twice and the first time was to share like things that I wanted. The second time was to share the things that I got. And the third time was showing you guys the products. Um, I just feel like it's overhyped and I feel like with influencers now, they want to buy everything up and then return it after, which is really crappy. Um, Cause it doesn't give like everybody else a chance. And then the way that Nordstrom has it now with like all these freaking tears that like, does it matter if you have like a Nordstrom like credit card or not? like. So anyways, um, yeah, I'm pretty much over it, but luckily this is year two that I don't really cover it and I don't really like pay as much attention to it, but I get everything I want. So let's hope that that continues to happen. Okay, so I figured I'd give you guys like a little sneak peek of how I've decorated for fall. I haven't shared on my Instagram yet um, or anything, so you guys are going to be the first to see it. Um, I do have some other things that I want to do more specifically for the bedroom. But I think for the most part everything is done. Then the patio I decided I'm going to decorate it more Halloween style because I have fall everywhere else so I want to give some love to Halloween as well. Um, so I'll turn you guys around and y'all can tell me what y'all think. 
Okay, so this is my little table as soon as you walk in the door. Um, so <laughs> I put this on this little, um, what is that sign called? Just, I don't know, just this letter sign. Um, I have a pumpkin candle, this little silver pumpkin. I have a pumpkin in there with some um, dried floral. I forgot what that's called. I think it's like bunny tail. Um, I got it on Amazon. So this is my front entrance. And then when you come over this way, don't pay attention to the stuff in the back. It's like wedding stuff back there, but I just kind of still have it out. Um, so this is the TV area. I found this garland recently at um, at Home Goods. That's no stupid tag on it. I have to clip that. And then these pillows I got last year, the other ones over there, um, from Walmart actually, and they're super, super cute. But this year, I kind of wanted to take out that blue a little bit, so I went more neutral in the living room. I put blues in the kitchen so um but i still had to keep it a little bit because <laughs> i already had it so i kept those here and i actually have this little blue pumpkin to match um this white pumpkin this isn't going to stay like this i haven't decided how i'm going to decorate this just yet uh i just put it there for now and then got this pumpkin at target i have another silver pumpkin there this sign is new i got it from michael's um and then i just put little pumpkins there and then over here I have to also finish decorating this. The like flowers sticking out there, I kind of just didn't know what to do with them because this year I put this like dried floral instead of that. So I don't know where to put them. Again, I have the other pair to the pillow and some beads. And then I actually had this pillow on this chair, but Ryan surprised me with this Mickey Mouse pillow. And it is the cutest thing. I love him. So this is his little humble abode now. And over in my office, I just put this little blessed paint, pink pumpkin, some other fall floral, and that's like as much as I'm gonna do in here because there's not a lot of space, but I absolutely love it. Um, I did wanna share this too. I got this recently at Home Goods. It is like a dry erase style, but like so much chicer. I don't think that's a word, but we're gonna go with it. But it's really cute and it was only 15 bucks. So check out your Home Goods. All right, so getting ready to go to the gym now. Um, I just threw my hair up, got my gym outfit on. So I don't wear makeup to the gym. I don't know if that's like a good or bad thing, but I do wear uh, waterproof mascara. The one that I use is the Perversion um, Waterproof Mascara by Urban Decay, and then just a little bit of brow product. I've been using this one by LA Girl. It's their Shady Slim Brow Pencil. I actually really like it. Um, and it's only like six bucks, I think, at Target. So I highly recommend both of those. the only one in that sauna like there's nobody else in there with you um and obviously we go together because i mean we're together but if you go with a friend then you can go with somebody you're comfortable with but if like you don't know anybody you're just going to work out by yourself then you're you have the whole sauna to yourself so it's really nice nobody's next to you um you know you, they clean down the the rooms and machines and you know you do the same after you know you're done using it so it's to me i feel like it's the best option of working out uh because gyms are just i mean obviously filled with all kinds of bacteria and germs so we really like this one um uh, we've been going for about a month or over a month now and um it is kind of far the one that we're going to right now it's about 30 minutes from us but 
They're opening up one really close in the spring area. So if you live in the spring area, look it up. It's awesome. We love it. So um, I will show you a little bit like what the class is like once we get there. over to lunch her bag was kind of falling apart um i'm gonna drink this sparkling ice um coconut pineapple flavored uh sparkling water this is my favorite ever it's super super good um then from chick-fil-a i was talking about not eating something for a month and it was fries i have not had fries since i don't know probably like end of July ish time frame um, but this is normally what I get from Chick-fil-A so if you decide to do like a modified version of keto you can definitely get this as well this is just the grilled nuggets it's the eight count um, and I eat it with the garden or branch that Chick-fil-A has there it is um, you can have these two together so normally I'll eat this without the fries <laughs> but we decided to splurge a little bit today and get some fries we're gonna split the medium then Ryan got like a, a sandwich which I think he's just taking the bread off of so this is gonna be my little lunch for today I start eating I did want to talk about the fries don't want you guys to get the wrong impression like okay like she's not really dieting or like whatever I think that with diets in general um, any diet that you do or even if you're just trying to eat healthier um, cut yourself a break if you want something of course don't overindulge if you're like oh I want pizza today and then you have pizza in the next you're like okay like I want pizza again and this time I want to add french fries or whatever like I think you should give yourself what you want just know like everything in moderation <laughs> all right so I got another package this one is from sassy queen boutique I have shared them before she makes incredible t-shirts um so she did some new ones and I'm super excited for these. I love how she wraps it. Like, super, super cute packaging. Doing this one-handed is really not cute. Okay, here we go. Okay, so I got two t-shirts. One is this one, which is so cute. It's this, like, Gucci-style um, t-shirt. I love, like, the grungy look to it. And then this one is a Saint Laurent one and they are both so cute. I do have a discount code. Um, I will leave her website linked below as well as my discount code and you can save 10% on any of her t-shirts. Okay, so we came to Target. Um, we're just gonna walk around because that's what we do nowadays. And uh, then we do have Mulan for later, which I'm super excited about. And I will show you guys my dinner. Um, oh, I did go to Starbucks. So I get a iced coffee with heavy cream, no classic syrup, and the sugar-free cinnamon dolce. This is a keto-friendly option. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Do you want to tell them about your cooler? I'm gonna get the cooler <laughs> one day. I think it's done, so. 
gonna be. It's gonna be a glorious day once I get it. <laughs> nothing like taking off your mask when you get in the car. It is a great feeling. <laughs> okay, so since we're having a movie night, um, we are going to eat a little bit differently. Normally, I do cook, you know, whatever. Um, but tonight, we are going to have pizza. And this is the Quest Thin Crust Pizza. This is the one that I'm eating. And then Ryan is eating the Supreme. So, both of those are keto friendly um i know that they don't want you to have um flour which i think these do so this is more like lazy keto so just counting carbs um but we've heard really good things we've also tried the real good that's an actual cauliflower pizza they also have a chicken one i had the cauliflower one and i thought it was just not very good um ryan had the chicken one and loved it so i don't know if um, I don't know. I haven't tried it, but these we've heard good things. So I'm super excited to try it. Okay. So here are the pizzas all nice and cooked. They already smell so much better than the last one. Don't you think? Yeah, it does smell really good. They smell so good. This is mine, the all cheese. Um, and it actually smells like, like really good. I'm going to just like take a piece and try it. Let's do a taste test with you guys. Okay. Taste test. Oh my god, it's so much better yeah, than the I other one. So I, much better. It was better. Okay, this one I recommend. Mine is better. the Quest Thin Crust Pizza for Cheese. It's super, super good. Yeah, super nice. I love this one. So like I mentioned, we're watching Mulan tonight. So we're going to have the pizza and some popcorn. Ryan so makes fun. the best popcorn. <laughs> Um, he literally always makes popcorn, but it's awesome. Uh, so we're going to have that. Um, and that's pretty much everything that I'm probably going to eat. Sometimes after dinner, I will say we will like make coffee, so I'll have coffee again at night. But I think just because we're doing the movie, we'll just probably have popcorn. Oh, and maybe another sparkling water. Sparkling ice. Yeah, sparkling ice. So another sparkling ice, pizza, and popcorn. Oh, it's like the perfect Friday. Alright guys, it's officially showtime. I got popcorn. Just posted on the gram. Cute stuff. And it's happening. Yeah. I'm gonna go ahead and cut off the vlog here. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you do have any questions about anything, let me know as always. Um, and I will link like the foods and stuff of where I got everything down below. I'll leave the name of the gym again. And everything that I talked about, just look in the description box because that's where it's gonna be. Thank you guys again for watching and we will see ya in the next one. Bye. 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 Bye.